Hey guys, welcome back and happy new year and also today we are going to be making a leaderboard in Roblox Studio. This is a very simple tutorial, you can do this in under 5 minutes, so let's get into it. Okay, so first thing you need, once you're in your game, what you're going to do is you're going to go into your explorer, explorer area here and you're going to click on server script service, then click on the plus icon and add a script inside it. Then in the script we're going to create a variable called local players equals to game dot players now what we're going to do with this we're going to create a function that when the player joins the game it will add a leaderboard to the player so let's do players dot player added colon connect function brackets player enter now we're going to do local leader stats now this might be a weird name, but you guys have to call it this in lowercase. Make sure you get the spelling right, because if not, Roblox will not create a leaderboard. So local leader stats equals to instance dot new folder. Now what instance dot new means? An instance, an instance is basically a part. You know, it's a thing. It 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 is basically everything in the Roblox Explorer area. You know, you can create lighting, you can create parts, scripts, anything. So then local leader stats equals instance dot new folder. Then we're gonna do leader stats dot name equals to leader stats. Let me just adjust that, okay. So now once we've got that done, we're gonna do leader stats dot parent equals to player. Now what we want to do is we want to create our points. So local points equals to instance dot new. Let's do a number value. Then points dot name equals to points. And then points dot value equals to zero. And points dot parent equals the leader sets. Now you can of course create way more, you know, you can create maybe um, points, parts, anything. You can create any, an infinite number of these um, special points, I guess. So now once we've got this done, we've created the leaderboard. Now this is the most important part and now we can play test it and see if it appears. So you can see that it does work, you know. We have our leaderboard over here, we have the players, Fencer B endpoints zero so now what i want to do actually is how about we add a part where when the player clicks on the part they get points so we're gonna create a simple blue part over here maybe um a cube about this size and let's make it, let's make it metal okay so we got a metal cube here and what we're gonna do with this now is we're gonna add a clip detector to it and at the same time, we're going to rename the part to maybe click part. Okay. And then now we're going to add a script inside here. And we're going to do script.parent.clickdetector.mouseclick colon connect function player who clicked. Enter. Now what this is going to do, it's going to fire an event whenever the player clicks on it. So if the player clicks on it, it will add points. So we're gonna create a variable local leader stats equals to mm, player who clicked dot leader stats. Now you might be asking, wait, did we already create a variable for this just now? Well, yes, but that variable can only be accessed in this script, you know, and in this function. We can't use it in any other script. If we want to use it in another script, we have to create a separate variable. The player who clicked dot leader stats, and then now for the points local points equals to leader stats dot points and now very simply we're going to do points dot value equals to points dot value plus one so this will add one point to the players points i guess yeah so now we can play test it Okay, so now you can see that we have our points, it's currently zero, and if I click on this part, you can see it's continuously going up whenever I click 
on it. So we stopped at 17, 18, 19, 20, and so on. So as you can see, it's very simple, very easy to do, and honestly, anyone can do it. So I hope this helps in your game, and in the next video, we will cover how to use data stores and how to actually store this data. So when the player joins back into the game, they will actually have the same number of points as they did when they left. So guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.